come to mysql.com just scroll down you can see a link here at the bottom download mysql community server click that now it is mysql community server you can select based on your whatever it suits you i will go for the installer yeah installer here looking fine windows bit msi installer i will download this scroll down no just or you can choose whatever you want i'll save this the download will let it complete then you will start the installation i just opened it and started the installation process you can see here we'll keep the default selection as developer default and move it inside the while installing Mm, ready to configure router okay fine next <coughs> so advanced logging options next fine next password it's i'm giving a weak password because it's my developer uh, thing in a production environment you should not use that now next now execute Let's see. Finally, the server will start and keep running. So you should remember the password, whatever we have used. Fine, it is now completed. So I'll finish it. Uh, My SQL, then configuration complete. Finish. Password. I will just check once. It will tell me if my connection succeeded fine so it mm. <clears throat> we'll search for our mysql workbench and okay it's here we'll open it fine connect to the local instance the password whatever we are given at the time of installation so is available we are inside now workbench let's zoom it a bit uh, left side you can see the all the schemas are available you can re refresh it these are by default it comes with these schemas so let's create one more database create database i'm giving my tutorial you can give your own name so let's run this see yeah database is created now let us say use my tutorial sorry now this database will be using to create our sample table fine inside this we will place our sample table now we can refresh this panel and see whether my yeah whatever tutorial we have created is available now let us go to the url available in your description and see here the sample table sql dump is available just scroll down a bit here you come copy the code code is copied now paste it here we can write all the code manually by creating but let us copy this go prepare our sample table then we will understand what is the create table command so this is a create table command there are two parts in the dump one is first one is to create the table and the second one is to insert 35 rows of data 35 rows of records of students so first let us create it run this code okay now let's scroll down a bit now we'll add 35 rows of data to it we'll execute again fine it is now to check it whether data is there or not let's write one more query select star from student student is our table name what you have created if this works then fine let's see yeah it has returned 35 rows of data to us so this is how we'll created a database in our workbench then inserted one sample table with 35 rows of data.